Hey everybody, Chad Gunn here, and it's time to tackle episode 4 of PSO2. If you are new to the series and want to catch up, episodes 1 through 3 are in playlists right on my channel. You can check them out for yourself. But let's get started on the new episode that just came out a few days ago. Creepy. Where are we? Hi, Sierra. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Do you have a firm grasp of who you are? Kind of. To peruse your personal data to jog your memory. Personal data? You got a laptop in here? Ooh, pretty. Am I in stasis? Is that what's going on here? Have I been taking a dirt nap? Look at me. I look like a Warframe character, kind of. Over here. Over here. Oh. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm doing just fine. A little confused about where I am. Oh, but hi. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Sierra. Your you just said that. Operator. Nice to meet you. Dedicated operator? I'm glad you seem to have woken without issue. What about my auxiliary? Where are they hanging out? Wouldn't they be my operator? I mean, nice to meet you, but why? Does your body feel strange at all? Let's see. It looks like you were completely purified of the F factor. Well, that's grand. What's that? You look flustered. Is your memory a bit hazy? Uh, well, no more so than it usually is. Oh, well that's good. My wings are way too big for this. Allow me to be forward then. Your dedicated operator, Sierra, at your service. I'll get you up to speed on the situation. Well that's great. Cool place. I need a floating chair like that. What are we doing here? Roughly two and a half years ago on AP 238 220, you embarked on an ARCS enlistment certification mission on planet Navarius. In the middle of February, but there wasn't any snow in the forest? Okay. Also, I'm not sure if they ever say it, but I'm fairly certain that AP stands for After Photoners. Or After Photoner? I don't know. After that certification mission, you immediately distinguished yourself as an ARCS operative and set out on numerous adventures. Did I? You fought False Fawn and Dark Falls, as well as the ringleader of them all, the Profound Darkness, and achieved remarkable success. I beat the bad guys! Yet the Profound Darkness broke free from its eternal seal, and under desperate conditions, you and Persona fought to the bitter end. As a result of this, you succeeded in liberating the girl you once protected, Matoy, from the clutches of the profound darkness. Cool. What was so profound about it? However, Persona fell victim to the profound darkness and became its host. And that's where our story picks up today. Oh? Wow! Giving you the abridged version's wild! To think I'm in the presence of greatness. Uh, sorry, where was I? I've only been here for two and a half years, and already I'm the boss. At present, it's been about two years since the revival of the profound darkness. I've been asleep for two years. I'm trouble processing. For you, only a moment has passed. After multiple wars with the profound darkness, you were put into cryo sleep so that you could be purified of the F factor. I've beaten him multiple times. Good and evil has raged all the while. But don't worry, Arx is still going strong, and so is the universe. Well, that's good. Now, you're back. Arx is complete again. But, as is so often the case, it's not quite that simple. 
Oh? Why have you been roused immediately after being purified of the F factor, you ask? Well, we have a request for you. Of course you do. You just put me into cold storage until you needed me to kill a hundred more things. Oh, but before I talk about that, why don't you roam around the ship a bit? Or perhaps head out and explore briefly for rehab purposes. For rehab? Well, I mean, I'd like to see what's changed, I guess. I'm sure there are tons of folks who have been awaiting your return for the past two years. Yeah, I can see what everyone's up to now. Hey, boss. Hey, Ayo. Ayo, however you say your name. If you're dropping in to say hi, I guess things must have settled down a bit, huh? Got a different hairstyle, kind of. How long has it been since we've spent quality time together? Did I spend quality time with you ever? I heard you were just sleeping, so I wasn't worried or anything. But getting to meet up and chat sure puts my mind at ease. Well, I mean, there you go. I you think I'm exaggerating, huh? From my perspective, it was a pretty long time to wait. We've covered that already. <laughs> oh, uh, really? Well, believe it or not, I'm growing all the time. Honest. Sure you are. I see what you're trying to do. You can try to embarrass me by saying weird stuff, boss, but it won't work. Compared to what I could have just said to you, that was mild. Just deal with it. I'm used to you teasing me, so you're gonna have to try harder than that. What do you mean, teasing you? I've never said anything odd to you. Personal space! Personal space! Jesus Christ! Yes, you never give me any warning. Any funny business, and Matoy's gonna hear about it. I said you're growing up! What the fuck?! She always acts like I'm being creepy and all in her face. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Going through this song and dance really drives home that you're back for good, boss. The perceived harassment makes you happy to see me? There's... She looks like she's got it all together, but there's something wrong with her, isn't there? I should have said so earlier, but... Welcome back, boss. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay. It's Katori. It's you. Hi. How lovely. It's been such a long time. You remember me, yes? Yes, I remember you. I wanted your outfit for at least one of my characters very badly. <laughs> Long time no see. Silence speaks volumes about the haziness of your memory. Oh, don't call me out like that. I just said I remembered you. I am Katori. Katori, your beloved bouncer, who is now the elegant maiden of legend. Huh? A legendary magnet of customer complaints, you mean? Ha! There he is. How's it going, Saga? Small wonder, considering you barely helped with promotion, Saga. It certainly is difficult to make a name for ourselves that way. Believe me, we know what Bouncer is. It's awesome. But with help from our great friend, the Bouncer class has found universal acceptance. Many operatives were evidently inspired by you to try new classes and weapons. Cool. Your actions have inspired greater Orcs diversity and Bouncer class adoption. You're welcome. Along with all that time Katori wasted saying, a great operative once used it too. That wasn't a lie. I do not lie. Even if you didn't use exactly what I was advertising, I'm sure you were aware of it at least. Uh, this particular character is level 68 bouncer, so that is not a lie. But the implication is that your main character in the story is a hunter for the first three episodes and a fighter for this one. So... I mean, I guess technically in canon it's bullshit, but whatever, Katori. And if you started using them for us in the future, then everything I said would be retroactively true. That's not how that works. Your offense makes it easier to handle adverse situations. That much is true. Yeah. The more of us that realize that, the easier it will be to deal with future crises. And given the new issues we have to contend with, if you need our help, just ask. I mean, 
Eventually, because I need to use you guys a hundred times for a title, but sure. <laughs> exactly right. The strides I have made were all for your benefit. I'm sure. As you can see, Katori hasn't changed much. She'll probably just get in the way. But, hey. How could you, Saga? <laughs> Listen, not, not in his general direction. Oh, hey, the summoner dude. Magnifique. Simply brilliant. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's a pretty Pokemon, but... Behold her exquisite form. Impeccable. Her butt. Elegant. Soft to the touch. The only word worthy to describe her is perfection. But most importantly, she loves me and will always be by my side. Hmm. Trepel. Are you okay? Are we on stage? Are you performing right now? What are you talking about? Qua? You do not know of what I speak? Hmm? And who might you be? Forgive me, but I find it difficult to muster interest in anything that doesn't concern my darlings. Yeah. Okay, Pietro. Kind of a big deal, my but whatever. Is Pietro? And this is my beloved Katarine. I do Pretty. not believe we've had the pleasure. Allow me to divulge all about my beloved child. About the unique glories of being a summoner. You get to fight sin. Summoners were established fairly recently as a new arcs class. As a new calling to follow. The best feature of being a summoner is your children. Summoners head to the yeah, you're a Pokemon trainer. Lovely's in tow. It's leaving you behind. The boorish call them pets, but to me, they are my irreplaceable, darling children. You see? I'm calling them all Pokemon and naming them all after Pokemon, and you can deal with it. By conducting pets with their weapon, the Harmonizer, the Summoner class performs a glorious melody of. Exquisite eradication. What do you think? I assume you understand and want to give it a try, correct? Mm. Nope, haha, <laughs> double saber goes burr. <laughs> do not be shy. Be a summoner. Pietro, buddy. Your pet just ran off. I established this oh, it's right there. so that everyone can understand the sublime happiness that these little ones bring. <laughs> oh, Katarine, you naughty girl, you. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Shall we pay a visit to the cafe then? I must bid you. Okay. May your life as a summoner be a happy and fruitful one. I'm not playing summoner. I have a summoner at 75. I don't like you. <laughs> now, now, Katarine. No need to rush. Your food isn't going anywhere. Ow. Ow. No teeth. No teeth. Alright, that one though I like. Welcome back. How is seeing the Oracle after all this time? Gotten used to moving around yet? If you're asking if I forgot how to walk, mentally I haven't changed. Anything at all. Don't hesitate to give me a holler. Why is this a big deal? When it's all said and done, I am your dedicated operator after all. Then what was my auxiliary for? I really don't understand what your purpose is. Moving right along. The Ark's Admiral has an important request for you. Please direct your attention here. Cool, you're the boss. Your memory might be foggy. I really wanted to see you in person, but Shao's been piling a ton of work on me. That's what he does. You'll just have to settle for my voice for now. I promise I'll meet you face to face next time. Cool. You have a new outfit? With that out of the way, I have a request for you. 
because it's an anime game and everyone gets new outfits with every new season. Is that how this works? It's what he does all the time. So I'd like you to do some investigating of your own. Sure. We've marked unusual arcs operatives. I'd like you to keep an eye on them at all times. I can do that. I'm sorry for heaping this on you first thing after you woke up. But Kazra can't complain if you're off the job. I appreciate it. Sure, I'll immediately get to work slaving away and committing violence for the glory of arcs. That's what we do. And that's the end of Admiral Ook's message. Ook. So that's why she wanted to talk to you, huh? Makes sense. Things have been pretty rough over here since I took over for Admiral Ook and Shell. I've been dreaming of the day I could ask you for your help. I mean, I was right down the hall, apparently. Anyway, let's get preparations underway before it's go time. Please come to me when you're ready. I'm here. Let's go. Oh, and lastly, Ark's organizational structure has changed a great deal while you were under. This is the info I need. If you're interested in the nitty gritty, feel free to ask me at your leisure. Alright, I'll give you a brief overview. It's kind of what I've asked for. So, during your treatment, Ark's organizational structure underwent dramatic changes. Which they talked about at the end of 3. We knew that was coming. First, Ulk became our admiral. Ark's top brass. Theodore is her adjunct. Each of the six is now also in command of their respective bureau. Huey is the commander of the combat bureau. Of course they are. Clarice Craze the third is the lieutenant. Maria is the commander of the General Affairs Bureau, with Sarah as its lieutenant. Regius is the commander of the Training Bureau. Zeno is his lieutenant. <laughs> yup, that sounds right. And then there's Kasra, the one we keep having trouble with. He's the commander of the Intelligence Bureau. So Kasra and Kuna are the head of Arc CIA. This sounds like a great idea. the ship overseer position for us shall return to the mothership to focus on his calculations kind of like what someone in his position should be doing because as we saw when Xion got involved too much everything went south he needs to just go over there do math and leave us to be to do our thing that's right we're overseeing the ship in Xiao's stead <laughs> impressive huh it's been about two years since I was born, but I had an adult mind and body from the very beginning. <laughs> okay. Good for you? Oh, by the way, according to Xiao, my personality was modeled after Admiral Ooks. Weird flex, but okay. One last thing I should mention. There's a special title within ARCs called the Guardian. That's me, right? Guardians don't belong to a specific bureau. Rather, they are unique operatives who can act as they please. You and Matoy are both guardians now. Who else is? And that makes me your dedicated operator, Guardian. I think that about wraps things up. Watch out, universe. We're gonna do great things together. Guardian's Awakening. Open my eyes. This was a couple hours after I woke up. Ooh. Corruption, Nevarius. What's this? A direct request from the Arts Admiral uh, to investigate the source of the false spawn appearances on Nevarius. 
It's the first I've heard about this. And the Admiral sending out an underling like me? Is that really a thing? Apparently it is. Maybe, just maybe, they're trying to keep an eye on me. Why? Nah, there's no way that's it. This place has always been buggy, and this definitely doesn't seem right. Me? Under suspicion? That's gotta be some kind of bug. Plain and simple. What are you so afraid of, Hitsugi? Just do what you always do. Come on. What? Ah! Huh. Hi. Who are you? Um, I look like a player, don't I? Are you Hitsugi? <laughs> yes, Hitsugi reporting. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's me. Uh -huh. Sierra, I'm the Ark ship overseer and operator. A pleasure to meet you. Should have called yourself Milan the way you're trying to hide your identity. And that there is your new mission partner. Huh? Wait, yeah, that name rings a bell. Do you have a voice modulator? Oh, right. The renowned Ark saw from the war against the profound darkness two years ago! Uh, but, but, uh, why were you paired with me? They've only just woken up. <laughs> Ooh. Right. For rehabilitation. Yeah. Sure. The ship's overseer and operator, plus being accompanied by a key operative from two years ago. This can't be right. They've got to be suspecting me of something. Why like what? Did I show a little too much enthusiasm? Did I come off as too much of a tryhard? Uh, um... <laughs> right, uh... It's Just... reassuring to have what, you... What, what's going on here? It's a pleasure to work with you. And you're bowing? Now, uh, let's get going. Together, I'm sure we'll get this dealt with quick and easy. Off we go. Uh, just... Something ain't right. That's where I thought was, this was going. Who the hell are you? And you're using a gun blade. Let's run with this quick fall spawn survey. Why do you gotta say that like it's not a quest? Don't they call it? Also, they're level 70. I'm not hardcore. This is gonna be a little... This is gonna be cake. It's just kill and fall spawn. Here you go. Whee! Did I miss something? Yep. There we go. I could do this blindfolded. You're right. It wouldn't take much. Wow. Why all these... Why do all the false ones seem to be the ones that Gemini uses? Also, with the Profound Darkness gone, wouldn't the false one have gone with him? It's not like they're a separate entity. Well, alright, let's keep going right this up quickly. We've still got a lot of pathway, Hitsugi. Whee! <laughs> that was legit the whole wave. Double Saber is hilarious. Ooh, okay, so here's some other types of false spawn. Alright. Hello. Boop! You're gone. We got him. False spawn rings in this area have disappeared, but there are no rings in the area either. What's going on? How about a quick break? Sure, let's just chill out and not think about what just happened. It's taken me some time to get used to him, but really, he seems to be a perfectly ordinary operative. 
He didn't get a lot of time to talk in between slaughtering Fallspawn. So I don't know what's changed. He was fighting? I don't know if you realize if you witnessed the massive carry there, Sierra, but Nothing feels off to me. He hasn't really done anything. I've been hanging out with him for two minutes. I don't You're right about that. As opposed to right now when we just did. freaking out about Ooh Evil What the fuck What the heck is that? Oh, what, what is it doing? That's a good question. What in the fuck is that? It's the cloud of darkness. Saying it's profound? Uh, thanks for the save. Now you're gonna suddenly grow a pair? With a gun blade? Alright, never stood a chance. You're awfully excited. Also Kate, did you see that? Wasn't that awesome? I mean, I am an art sop after all. When I go all out, something that beauty is no match for Suki, don't let your guard down. My sensors still detect its presence. It ain't dead. Huh? But I thought it was gone. That's the point. What? My arms. I can't move. Yep. What's it's a trap. On? What's happening to me? Someone help. Uh, I'm right in front of you. What? Oh, I didn't see what I hit. I mean, I see now. So this is the power Shao spoke of. Haven't I done this multiple times already? My arms are free again. I should be able to log out. Are you all right? The false von reading has vanished. But where is Hitsuki? Gone. Is that an ultra wide curved Thank monitor? Goodness. Looks like I was able to log out. Jeez. The vessel is meta as fuck. The ether infrastructure bugged out and I couldn't move. Talk about freaky. Calm down, girl. Just calm down. That was all in PSO2. You're logged out now, so everything's fine. Right. Huh? This is Earth. Mother Earth. The blue planet, a peaceful place without war or conflict. This is my personal fortress. My room, complete with a computer, crucial in this information society, and a bed to rest my exhausted body. Well, that's changed. That's right. This is Earth. Mother Earth. Third planet for the sun. I'm in my room. So on that bed is my... Come on, Hitsuki! Calm down! Let's take some nice deep breaths! 
So, in the JP version of the game, he's completely naked in that bed. She's born in... And this is why VR is a scary thing. Whatever's on that bed is an illusion, a product of my imagination, my eyes playing tricks, sleep deprivation. Yep. And still gonna be there. Hello! It's still there! And now it's awake! Where am I? You a spaz, Hitsuki. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Something wrong? Are you in pain? Are you alright? Stay put, you. I'm trying to drag myself back to reality so I can accept what's going on. <sighs> okay, Hitsugi. You can roll with this. <clears throat> first things first. Who are you? What's your name? Hitsugi. That's my name. I'm asking what you ha, name. Ha. Your name. She hasn't put it together yet. If it's not Hitsugi, then I don't know. Oh, what the hell are you? You haven't put it together yet. In my room. Oh, she does know. I mean, what am I saying? That's impossible. Mother never mentioned anything about that. Uh oh. Crap. I guess it was too loud. It has to be the dorm leader. Hang on. I'll be right there. No, it's too dangerous. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's smart. What was that for? Uh. Are you a thief? Give me a break. When it rains, it pours. Look out. Ow. Ooh. What the fuck? You saved me. You're not out of the woods yet. Is that a cue? You. Why, why are you here? Good fucking question. Slam! Shouldn't that have instantly killed him? Celestia Academy Girls Door. Okay. Funny. In the. In the JP version, they call it the... They call it, uh, Sega Academy, I'm pretty sure. Why are you not dead? Okay, there's more of you. Come on. Get stabbed. I think that's it. That was easy. Kill all the zombies in the hallway! I would love a survival mode in this game. Yeah, for now. What a relief. I guess everything's fine now. I don't think anything's fine now. What the fuck is going on? Which way is up anymore, but you saved us. Thank you. You're gonna pass out now? Like that? Man. Their vital signs are stable. There's no need to worry. You can tell from across the universe. Yeah, you can. I'm more concerned about those enigmatic monsters. They weren't false thought. So, what were they exactly? Zombies? So much for a simple rehab mission. You were suddenly teleported to unknown coordinates. And then this battle... 
There's a lot to digest. For sure. Can I? Apparently I can. I'll just telepipe out. <laughs> Why don't you cracked? Except for... <laughs> Your room is still trashed. <laughs> if only it was all a dream. Are you cracking? Good work. You don't seem to be suffering any after effects. That's a relief. Yep. Once again, I will share some information with you on the current state of the planet you were recently teleported to. Oh, you've got info now? Mention of the universe entirely separate from ours, with Oracle and everything. It exists beyond subspace. It's a long way away. It's not a planet that exists in our universe. In all likelihood, it's in an entirely different dimension. A parallel universe, if you would. Okay. It's certainly not somewhere you should be able to travel to and from with ease. I'm currently investigating the details. It's but one planet in this other dimension, and is inhabited by intelligent life forms. Humans, even! The name of the planet seems to be... Earth. By the way, when you went to Earth, were you able to have a normal conversation with her? Do you remember? Uh, no, she was pretty freaked out and I killed a bunch of zombies and then left. At any rate, Earth's language data has already been collected by the Intelligence Bureau. Also, no sooner had I reported the situation than the Intelligence Bureau registered a substantial amount of data on the planet. Meaning they probably already knew it existed. I think it means they have been collecting data independently. Like Admiral Ook said, I can't help but be suspicious. So, for those of you who are unaware, there is an anime aside from Episode Oracle that came out years ago called PSO2 The Animation, which takes place on Earth, and apparently is canon and takes place before Episode 4 in-game. So this is technically not Ark's first interaction with Earth and Earth humans, but it is our first interaction. If you've seen that already and wondered where that factored into this, it's... it's there. Probably during the time that our main character is asleep. It's plausible that the Earth's coordinates and teleporter destination hasn't been set properly. It's dubious as to whether or not that was truly the case. But either way, that's no longer relevant. Thanks to the contact you made with Hitsugi, we were able to establish a connection with Earth. Cool! Because I talked to a random woman over the inner space internet? We can now travel to Earth, and we know everything about them and can speak their language, because why not?! It remains unclear how and why you were able to do so, let alone set foot on that world, but... Plot reasons. My hypothesis is that the photons reacted to Hitsugi's call for help, and your desire to help her. Sure. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. I digress. Point being, you can now go to Earth whenever you want. I should point out, however, that this is a covert operation. Which means don't let other arcs go there. With your photon recognition cloaking and spatial separation ability, you can roam the Earth without being outed by its photonless beings. I'm invisible? This technology comes straight from the Intelligence Bureau, so I'm a little concerned. You can trust anything Space CIA gives you. They say Mai's innate abilities are generalized, but honestly, 
I have my doubts as to the origin of this tech. Oh, right. It's based on Kuna's ability to turn herself invisible. It's fishy, no matter which way you slice it. We'll need to investigate this even more thoroughly. Don't trust your friends. Oh, right. I just remembered another important piece of info. I haven't seen any readings of that dark fall since it appeared on the various. I think we figured that already. I'll do my best to track it down, but it'll be like searching for a rock in an asteroid belt, I hate to say. Because needle in a haystack doesn't fit in space. My whole spiel aside, it's not exactly an alternative, but your connection, your link with Hitsugi, is quite strong. Somehow. See? When you tried to save Itsuki as she was engulfed in darkness, you actually repelled it by touching her. That's not creepy! When that happened, it's like your photons flowed into her, and you were then able to pick up on her reaction to danger. I planted a magic tracking device on her. Thanks to that, you were able to save her just in the nick of time. You turned the tables on potential disaster. And a zombie apocalypse, apparently. Meanwhile, we were able to collect some bits of data, making it easier to ascertain the current state of Earth. <laughs> Talk about convenient. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Using ARC's technology, we can take said data and recreate a video of Hitsugi's daily life. <laughs> Say, what should we look at first? Well, aren't you a creep? Sure. The way you've been describing the info we have, though, we should already have the data on day-to-day -day human life. You're just being a creep. The only ones who are going to see it are you and me anyway. So, it'll be fine if we keep the details on the down low. All joking aside, it's critical that we collect information, as we really don't know anything about this planet or its intelligent life. Let me tell you, Sierra, there's not a lot of it. Let's have a look while we have a chance, shall we? Oh boy. There we go, that's the end of chapter one. And that's also where we're going to end this episode. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, uh, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you can see when I play more of this and any other games. And you can also check me out on Twitch where I stream this game on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And that's it. Have a good day, everybody.